Now, real-time crime fighting. This is an Eyewitness News exclusive. There is a new weapon for the Philadelphia Police Department. It gets information to officers on the streets seconds after a crime occurs. Eyewitness News reporter Elizabeth Herr has an exclusive inside look at the high-tech crime fighting of the future right here in our backyard. <laughs> Real time crime center started messing. For your protection. We are operating 24 7. Philadelphia is one of about 10 cities in the country. What type of drugs are they selling there? To create the real time crime center. It's the police department maintaining situational awareness of what is going on in the city so that number one, we can deploy effectively and efficiently. They do so from this centralized technology center with access to multiple street crime and SEPTA cameras when an emergency calls. We are pinging away at these databases. Their mission is to give responding officers and detectives instant information. Most of our cameras are able to move around. And that's how the real-time crime center came in handy in a recent robbery at a SEPTA subway station. When the report came in, Sergeant Massey immediately tapped into the SEPTA video system. I saw a victim that appeared to be startled. I then rewound back to see what occurred. He then spotted this male running away. A further review resulted in this clear shot of the suspect, which was quickly distributed. Based on a video we obtained, uh, patrol officers in the streets saw him walking uh, in the South Philadelphia neighborhood and stopped and arrested him. The center is modeled after the one in New York City, but the vision here is to do more than just share data. But will serve as the police department's operations center, a daily watch center, and a deconfliction hub. In other words, the idea there is to eliminate any confusion when it comes to undercover work. Bottom line, efficiency is the name of the game here. And the center right now is still a work in progress, but they hope and expect to have it fully functional within the next year. Reporting live from police headquarters, I'm Elizabeth Hur, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Elizabeth, thank you very much.